Good morning, staff and students. Today is Tuesday. It is March 21st. It's an A-Day, and as always, I hope the lines are ready to roar at Howard High School. We are filling our days with pride. That's punctuality, respect, integrity, determination, and, of course, excellence. Today was our thrilling conclusion of page two of our shout-outs here. Yes, we had two pages of shout-outs, so let's get going here with page two. Ms. Curtin wants to shout out Ruby Turner for co-writing and publishing a piece with her mentor. Nice job, Ruby. Jada Windsor Reedy, whose mentor at Ilchester Elementary, is impressed by her maturity, intuition, and talent. Jada is truly impacting her student success. Absolutely. Round of applause there for Jada. To Zoe Williams, whose mentor at MedStar Hospital requested she intern next school year as well. Always nice to get an uh, invite back. And to Jeff Brown and Adam DeLosa for earning summer internships from their mentors at the Johns Hopkins APL. Nice job, gentlemen. Ms. Jeffrey is shouting out periods two, three, five, and six for making her laugh on a daily basis. It is her pleasure to be their teacher. Nice job, students. <laughs> Mrs. Burroughs is uh, shouting out Najee Hassan for so willingly sharing her cultural experience and Lorenzo de Ocampo for always enthusiastically contributing to class discussions. The CHEM team wants to send a huge shout out to our student aides, Leah Smith, Sarah Binkley, and Courtney Prillman. They are awesome at getting lab materials ready for the week, and you ladies rock. I'd like to give a shout out to all of my students who have been safety certified for work in the shop area. Congratulations from Mr. J. A shout out to the unarmed exhibition team commanded by Cadet Captain Ogechi LMO for an outstanding second place win at the Century High School JRTC Drill Competition on Saturday. Way to go, ladies. <laughs> and last but not least, Ms. Lavoie wants to Give a shout out to her freshman classes, periods one, two, and six, for being a delight to teach. Awesome. Congratulations to all the staff and students there. Keep up the great work there. Have an awesome day. I'm Connie. And I'm Bernia. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors, if you would like to be on Howard 360 in May, please go to our Twitter, Howard 360 TV, and fill out the form. Please do so by spring break. Hey, Howard, come out to the... Camden Yards for the Howard High, Howard High Night on Saturday, May 6th at 7 p.m. And watch our color guard present the colors with the when the Baltimore Orioles play the Chicago White Sox. Tickets are $20 and are being sold as a fundraiser for the JRTC program. Seats are located in the lower reserve section, right next to the first base with a great view of the field. It is also a giveaway night and the first 20,000 fans will receive an Orioles canvas tote, tote bag. Tickets will be sold at all lunch shifts from March 21st to March 30th. Attention Key Club members, we will have our last meeting of the year this Thursday, March 23rd at, in B20, B121. We will be celebrating with a mini party and deciding on which charity to donate the rest of our funds to. This announcement is for students who are parking in the parking lot without a permit. We are monitoring the parking lot on a regular basis. Juniors, if you're parking without a permit, you can be denied parking privileges as a senior. Seniors, if you're parking without a permit, senior activities can be restricted. White striped lines are for students and yellow striped lines are for staff. Thank you. Attention seniors, we need your school appropriate pictures for your act from your activities throughout your Howard High years. Our last class-wide project is a picture slideshow of the great memories you've made at Howard. We would like to play this show during our breakfast before graduation rehearsal. Please submit your photos to hohsclassof2017.shutterfly.com by April 7th, the Friday before spring break. Any questions, please see Mrs. Stratton in room N203. The ASVAB Career Exploration Program will be at Howard High School on March 31st, 2017 at 7.30 a.m. to administer the ASVAB examination in the school auditorium. Sign up. The rosters are located in the guidance office. 
College Night for Juniors, join us on Thursday, March 23rd at 5.30 in the auditorium for an evening of presentations on college preparation. You will hear a wealth of information regarding the SAT, ACT, ACT and SAT subject tests, how to conduct a college search, learn the ins and outs of college applications, and your college essay. We will have guest speakers from Stevenson University, the University of Maryland College Park, and Towson University. There will be a pink ribbon meeting at 2.15 and A107 on March 23rd. We will be discussing spring fundraisers and information about the officer positions available for next year. Do you love Harry Potter or want to talk about the Fantastic Beast movie? Are you ready to test your Harry Potter knowledge with some challenging cahoots and sporcies? Bring your favorite Harry Potter accessories to Fandom Millennium Society this Friday, March 24th at 2.15 in, in, in room N211 and get sorted into your house. Need service hours? Join the ESOL Club on Saturday, April 1st to beautify our campus and earn service hours. We'll work for a few hours and then order some pizza. Sign up in B113 by Wednesday, March 29th. Join the ESOL Club in B113 after school on Wednesday for our upcoming service day. Attention all Howard students. If you have ideas about how to make Howard a better place, consider running for president, student government for the next SGA election. The new election process will ensure that the right people are chosen for each position. Applications can be found outside of room 209 and will be due the 31st. Have, have a thin mint Tuesday. Oh. <laughs> The month is Deaf History Month today. We have Asha and Emily here to tell us a little something. Hi, Howard. Today we have a Deaf History fact for you. Cochlear implants were approved in 1985. Cochlear implants allow deaf people to interpret sound waves. This is not the same as normal hearing, and the sound is described as electronic. Most deaf people choose not to receive the implants because they enjoy being deaf. Have a great day, Howard.